we are in uh, what is quartered off as a research area, and this is where we do our breeding and rearing of the dusky gopher frogs. The Dusky Gopher Frog Program has been running at the Memphis Zoo for close to 20 years. Uh, it is a critically endangered species and what we're trying to do here is create a captive population where we can breed them um, and then have their offspring, so tadpoles and juvenile frogs, and then release them into the wild in areas that they used to be um, but are no longer found. They will probably start laying eggs here in March and then we raise the tadpoles all the way up to around May or June. So June is generally when we see little froglets come out. There, it's rare to have a program be able to establish a new wild population entirely from captive release. Generally, when you build a new population with the dusky gopher frogs, it takes three years, four years of releases to really start seeing the little froglets are released, mature into adults, and then they come back to the ponds and breathe. And that's what you want to see. We just started seeing that last year, and hopefully we'll see more in more detail this year. We've released over 4,000 tadpoles and over 4,000 metamorphs at this point. We've released so many that now it's time to go out and really document how all of these released captive bred frogs are doing. So the whole reason that we're able to do this surveying of this captive released established wild population down in Mississippi is because of the grant that we just received. The Memphis Zoo is one of 238 AZA institutions as of December 2021 and out of 55 applicants we were one of 13 selected. It's really really exciting because we're at this critical point with the these dusky gopher frog reintroduction program where being able to have this grant funding now is going to allow us to use this window of time where all of these frogs at the breeding ponds in Mississippi have reached adulthood. And they're at this stage where we hope and we expect to see them able to breed and create this self-sustaining population of frogs, which is what we want. That's the goal is to have these frogs on their own at these ponds in Mississippi being frogs and breeding in the wild naturally been a long time coming and we hope that all Memphis Zoo fans and people can be happy and celebrate along with us as we find out and document what is going on at these ponds.